Hey everybody, Mike Machine here, coming at you from uh, Langley, British Columbia, Canada. Okay, so I'm literally going to try to make this as fast as I possibly can. Uh, no big rants. So what I'm feeling is all over the internet, my drumming community is suffering from bad rebound. And so what I want to say to that is there's bad rebound and there's good rebound. Bad rebound. If your surface is flat and your stick is angled, then you're fighting the weight of that stick until you get horizontal. Once you're horizontal, the weight of the stick frees up, right? So they call that a free stroke when the stick can go freely. You know, you're not pulling with the wrist, you're not hoping to scoop the stick backwards. Well, if I'm on an angle, I'm fighting the weight of the stick all the way to that point. Right, which is why you get those fast returns, you know, but if I want to have a nice rebound, total control, I'm going to flatten out. So long story short, flatter the better. So if I'm a trad grip guy, I'm not going to play like this. I'm going to play flat like this. Because then I have a free stroke. The stick literally comes out of the way and becomes totally weightless at this point. But if I'm up like this, guys, there is no weightlessness. It's all drive and physical inertia. So you know, I can't argue results. You can take the front of a mountain, the gondola, where it's all smooth and it takes two hours and you get there cozy. Or the guy who literally scales, climbs the back of the mountain, you know, fights off all those tigers and bears or whatever, and ends up at the same time. I can't argue that either. So all I'm trying to say to the musical community is try to be aware of your stick position, whether it's flat or whether it's raised, when you're trying to achieve things that maybe need a little bit more dynamic, like right or like a something tasty like observe if you're up on an angle or not observe if your surface is on an angle or not depending on the way you come in on it right especially snare drum you know a hi-hat's usually pretty straight so it's a good start and that's usually why a hi-hat feels really good because you're already at ha uh, flat flat dimension all right so hopefully that's a really quick video I'm sure you'll see this packaged and sold through many many uh, outlets and that's fine too you heard it here first have a nice day.